Hold on one second. I'm sending one last text. <laughs> Can you do? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Let's get it. Ready? Yeah. Ah! Da da da! Happy Cinco de Mayo! It's not Cinco, Cinco de Mayo for you guys, but it is hey, for us. Hey, happy! Welcome back Cinco. to another Bango de Mayo. You want me to do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another banger podcast with your boys. Wow! To the roof and back with your boys, Brandon and Tristan. I am Brandon. I'm Brandon. That's Tr- that's Tristan. Yeah, Tristan accidentally said that he was Brandon one time in the intro. And then ever since then, he's just kind of stuck with it. And for you new people, you might think that I'm Tristan and he's Brandon. But yeah, if you're new. In fact, <laughs> in fact, it's the other way around. Uh, so, so today's Cinco de Mayo. You're probably... if. You know, on the Cinco de Mayo day, you're probably out partying. Yeah. Having a good time eating Well, it's some not tacos. Cinco de Mayo for you, but it's... Well, I'm saying the viewer, not you. It is Cinco de Mayo for you, but for the listeners... You're so you confused. It's past. Me. Yeah, but we have some... Uh, we have some tacos right here. Make sure we take over the boxes. Yeah, you definitely don't know where those boxes no are from. No way. Actually ordered 150... 100 and... Uh, I think it was like 180, 190 with the tip. Of yeah, uh, tacos ridiculous. on Uber Very Eats. Very wasteful for this, but I thought it was. We got some, for, and we, dude, we're on a diet. We're trying to eat better, and I ate two tacos tonight, so I feel like crap. Well, it's kind of like a cheat meal, but we. Did, I don't even feel like I cheated like I wanted to because I had like one taco and some <laughs> nacho fries, yeah. and I got kind of full, but. Now I got some brewskis, so life is good. Dude, I had something really cool that I was going to say. Well, okay. Um, on today's podcast, we're actually, it's a super chill one. Like, it's late night. Um, we have we like ripping pods late night, couple drinks. I feel like that's when we really podcast we, best. Well, I don't think we podcast best, but I think the entertainment value is the best because we get a little litty with titties. Saying. That's what I'm saying. I feel yeah. like we go in. Yeah, so we're going to talk about some crazy like cop interactions, police interactions we've had on our channel, kind of the... You know, the behind the scenes of that. We had Jared Gad on. He was game warden. Mr. Green Pants, you yeah, caught him. God. Felt like that was pretty disrespectful. Ugh. That but guy. that guy gets on my nerves, man. You're a liar. Just when he has the green pants on. He's got his binoculars no, on us right now. Totally he kidding. bugged the room, dude. Yeah. Speaking of no, game wardens. that oh, guy. Go ahead. Love those guys. I was going to say, speaking of game wardens and uh, fish and game activities, we actually have a banger bass number two in the tank. He's actually perfectly set up for you guys right now. He's oh, oh, banger one, banger is, one. is coming to... To chin check or they're, gil, they're gil not, check banger two. They're not getting along very well right now, yeah. but I and I really love banger bass one. But look at him! What he, the heck? He, it, it's almost like these chill out, trying bro. To spawn, but I'm pretty sure they're both dudes. Dude, he's horny. I'm gonna name one Tristan. Okay, he's not horny anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, so well, I'm gonna let him like stay the night. Yeah, and, we're uh, gonna have to take Banger Bass it, Two out. I think so. Banger Bass One is actually smaller. Trav, our camera guy, caught that one. Put that one in here. Banger Bass Two. I actually got him with the frog this morning, the or not even frog. this morning, like a few hours ago. Yeah. Well, about three or four hours ago, he got a face waxed by a frog. Oh, so, Guggen frog. Yeah, he might have a little bit of a headache, but we're gonna let him spend the night, and <clears> then <throat> if he's uh, if they're still battling in the morning, we'll yeah. take. Banger 2.0 out. But I just want to say, this has been one hell of a, a banger it's week. It's not even over, man. We have two days left yeah. of banger week. This has been the second longest, other than the first week. The first the first banger week two was weeks. two weeks yeah. because the first week was setting up yeah, the podcast. Yeah, it was like planning and getting stuff Gosh. together. Yeah. Uh, but this one has been super successful, and I hope you guys have enjoyed the people the guests that we've brought on so far i thought it's been super interesting we got yeah. a game warden we got the ten thousand dollar bundle guy which was that freaking is awesome nuts and i think one thing is that might set us apart just for getting people like that on like those are the kind of conversations that podcasts are built for like that guy doesn't have the social media like spotlight to get yeah. to know him you know what i mean yeah usually we're just hitting up our we've we've really used our friends in the social media space to gotta rely get, on. Got to get that title and thumbnail. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie, it does help out the views. No, it definitely helps out the views and it definitely helps out the conversations because there's only so many conversations that me and you can have. Right. Last week was a good example of Right. That. 
We had some great. We had some fu- some Last of the week, funniest podcast. I, I do agree. Some of the I do agree with you. Um, but what's really cool about this week is we had that guest, and that can further us. Like we're gonna have him on whenever he He's gets. He's coming to, back. Yeah, he has to come back because we got to figure out what the f- and he gets. He was amazing on the podcast. Right, he was awesome. Really I, cool kid, and um, but that opens up to something so new that we've kind of talked about for a while but never really went into is like bringing a podcast uh, Britain bringing a podcast bringing a subscriber on like an actual yeah. subscriber that yeah. didn't buy anything right. like that would be so cool um and how we could figure that out I don't know but one that could happen one day no for, for sure. sure we're we're open to anything matter you have fact, to follow us on Instagram TikTok also subscribe to both of our channels watch all the videos all the way through yeah and then and you prove have, that and you have to prove it yeah yeah. <laughs> and then if you're down to donate $10,000, there's no bundle, no mystery. It's actually just straight up donation to the Banger Pod. You'll most likely be accepted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> most likely. Uh, no, uh, it is true, though. We do have a website, banger.com. Banger.com, actually. I'm just kidding. Um, don't go there. <laughs> I don't know what is there. Just blank that whole sentence out. Don't, don't go do there. that. Uh, I had something I was going to say. Oh, uh, speaking of guests that we want to have on and just kind of like the scope of where the pod is going. You guys, if you've watched from the jump, especially if you've watched, you've really seen the set improve Dude, I do and not, grow. I do not like the glasses. Okay, fine. I like the glasses. Put them back on. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I get no, no. no. <laughs> if, okay, but seriously, if you guys are uh, yeah, yeah, been yeah. watching the pod from the jump, you have literally seen this Bro, I place did not change. Understand how dead it was. Yeah, I thought our pod I thought we was were killing bad it. ass. It was just <laughs> a dumb wood wall. Is ball. next banger week gonna be like why the? <laughs> What the? F- I'll be like, I can't believe we had that bitch ass little tank, and now we got like a whole fish tank wall. What or else can shit. we do? I don't know. No, but I mean, we literally talked for about two months of like, we're getting a podcast sign. We really yeah. are getting a podcast. I promise it's happening. <laughs> Tristan came too early this month, so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. Uh, so the podcast is growing in so many aspects, like. The conversations, I feel like we're getting better at it. I remember in the very beginning, the comments were like, yo, you got to let Tristan speak when he's trying to say something. Or Tristan, right. stop trying to tell Brandon to hurry up. It's a podcast. Let him speak. Like We have gotten really good at communicating. <clears throat> and feeding off one another. Correct. We've also got the set kind of where we want it. But now we're working hard on guests. And it's not what you would think. It's not like the heavy hitter, big name people. Like well, all I mean, of our... Dude, some of them are. I mean, you know. A lot of our people are. Yeah. I mean, come to the party. You're more than welcome. But one of the DMs that I sent yesterday, I was talking to T about it, and I want this person on so f- bad. We got to keep them anonymous, though. That's oh. the crazy thing. Oh, you know, who you, is it? You know where I'm going? No. I showed you. I, I don't know. I'm going to say their Instagram because I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. I showed you their Instagram yesterday night on the couch, and you were dying laughing. <gasps> Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So there's a an Instagram page. It is totally inappropriate. It got deleted. Why well, can't we say? I'm gonna say it. Oh. It got deleted at 10,000 subscribers. Let me hype it up. Bro. Okay, hype it. But now, hype it. Go off, now, bitch. Go off. Now they started posting yes, again. Yes. Go off. X rated Google memes yes, on bro. Instagram has we, been a legend for years. We f- want you on the pod. They, we will keep you totally anonymous. That they. I'll sign an NDA. They messaged me back and, uh, bro, that would be f-ing legendary. They said, I'll think about it. And we could either blur his face, the whole video, it, or it her. might not be a he. Be That's him what I'm saying. Or her. I'm just gonna say they might blur, blur their face. Yeah. Or they can wear a mask or. I said masked. That would be funny. I, I do think it's funny. And, um, so they said they would think about it. Yeah. And, well, they were like, do you want to do like a FaceTime or a Zoom? And I was right. like, and we want to fly you in. Yeah. Like, we want you to be sitting right here or right there. Have you emphasized that, like, you're serious and you're like, bro. Oh, 100%. I, they, they said when I said Bro next, or next sis, week. like, we want you on no matter what. I think it's somebody on the inside. <laughs> that is, that's. Is that? What dude, you, is that, what, what if we think? get them here and it's like one rod or something? We're like, what the f- One rod? Dude, if you see a pod and it's X-rated Google memes and then the next one is one rod, it's. What are that's extra to cook at me? Dude, what if it's just John, though? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I feel like out of all the oh, Googans, shit. seriously, out of all the Googans, the person that has that sense of humor. That's John. That could be John. It's John, dude. All right. X-rated Guggen memes. If you're not John, prove us wrong. Prove it. We're supposed to have John on very soon, too. Yeah. What if it. he messes or okay? What okay? What if maybe, it is John? Hold on, time started, out. Let me give you. Maybe he stopped posting for a while because he had a kid. Yeah. And now that he had his kid, he's posted again. Hold on, he got the fire back. But listen, oh, shit. So John. It's, it's John B. Right? We have him on the podcast, and he DMs you while he's there, and he's like, "Look to your right." Oh my god! I'm on this bitch. No, no. Or what if he drops it and just says, "Guys, I've been Guggen go- X-rated memes <laughs> the whole time." That would be even more. That's pretty funny, dude. Oh. Shit, we got to call John and confirm. I'll be like, listen, bro. Call him right now. Blink once. It, no, no. He's actually on a he's on a uh, uh, auction thing with Fnatic. Oh. We were just bidding on Pokemon cards. I f-ing lost a couple of grand. <laughs> Bad. I, I got decent cards because they're all first edition cards, but then I just told Fnatic to give away my cards to the next pack so Fnatic can make some more money, but feel like I was a little too generous now that I think about it. But hey, man, it's Cinco de Mayo. Dude, you know it is what I'm Cinco saying? de Mayo. Do you know what Cinco de Mayo is? Is it Day of the Dead? Um, That's a different day, isn't I it? I feel like that <laughs> that day would just be called Day of the Dead. I don't, I, know, what, I, I don't re- know what Cinco de Mayo is for real. I Googled it. I think it. it's just a day to party and drink and eat tacos. Now, that's exactly what we did before we looked it up. Mm-hmm. I just looked it up right okay. now. That's why we have all these tacos, is by the way. Is it Mexican Independence Day? Are you making shit up? I don't know. I feel like Cinco de Mayo is a really cool day. All right. Cinco de Mayo. Pronounced. Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have skipped that part. In Mexico, Spanish for 5th of May is a yearly celebration held on May 5th, which commemorates the anniversary of Mexico's victory over the Second French Empire at the Battle of, I'm going to get this wrong, Puluba so, in 1862, so led by s- General In. I'm not going to Okay, try. you're good. You got it. So but it's, it's a, essentially it's, Independence Day. I don't know, but it's a celebration of It's something. like our July 4th. Maybe, but it is a celebration of some victory, which is great. Which is cool. So where'd the beer and tacos come in? I play? guess uh, Americans- That's how you celebrate. I think, no, no, no. I definitely think the Americans turned that into Americanized like- Americanized it? Yeah. Yeah. But maybe it's not. Assholes. Maybe bro. not. Hey, maybe we're not assholes. Hey, maybe you're right. Maybe the Mexicans are just- God, can we say that? What? Maybe Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fig- figure them out there, Trev. Help them out there. <laughs> Maybe Mexico was just like, hey, we want to help these dumb Americans, and we were going to give them I don't tacos. Know. Free tacos is that, and beer. Is free tacos a thing? I th- no, I, th- I think it's like a legitimate <laughs> holiday that like we have Americanized. Any American holiday, by the way, is followed by drinking. Have you realized this? Well, I, definitely as you get in, as an adult. Well, yeah, when you're a kid, it's like trick or treating and shit. But yeah. like now, well, that's only one holiday. It's kind of a terrible <laughs> example. Every holiday you're supposed to trick or treating. <laughs> it's Christmas. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you're not, what if that was Christmas? Think about that. Wait, what if everything? No, like you knock you on let the door me talk, and bitch. They, they you're not you, listening to the they, comments. They give you a present. Yes, bitch. That's what I was trying it's to say. Tomorrow, you knock on the door, you get a taco and a beer. Damn it, dude. I had such a good... What are you getting for you Valentine's Day? Me. What are you getting for Valentine's Day? You knock on the door, what do you get? Get bent over. Gave him chocolates. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to take a hard turn here. Tristan has taken it himself, taken the liberty to customize our buttons. All I know is the intro button. He said, don't you dare touch the rest of those god dang buttons. So I only got three. Oh, what the f***? You were doing it for like 40 minutes. I know, dude. It was hard. Okay. It was genuinely hard. But I got some good ones. But are you going to surprise? Should I, wait, should no. I surprise you? Surpri- but, but like make sure to use the ones that make sense just randomly in conversation. That's pretty good. Damn. That was loud too. That was very loud. I am sorry. Once again, anytime Tristan touches the soundboard, people get really upset. He just bumped her down a notch, which is fair. Do you have anything for fight night? That was more reasonable. All right, all right. Bass number one is getting bass number two. Oh, my God. You're an <gasps> idiot. Dude. That was a 10-pounder. What are you doing? That was a 10-pounder. <laughs> you should have grabbed him. You're kidding me, dude. Are you going to say that on me? How do you have the audio? Who the fuck is that guy? Oh, my God. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Oh, my God. It was a 10-pounder. One more. One more time. Do we have another one? No, can we just listen to Can the- we just get John B.? 
I mean, uh, John B and AP, and our, while we look at our bass tank here. Oh my God! You're an idiot. Dude. That was a ten pounder. What were you doing? That was a ten pounder. You, you should have grabbed him. You're kidding me, dude. Are you insane? Don't blame that on me. <laughs> Dude, is that not greatness? That is one of the wow. best audio <laughs> clips wow. of all f time. Man, that just gets me going. That does, dude. <laughs> I, okay, when I think about that clip, it's so underrated, but I don't think about AP like just f slamming. Ah! I don't think of him slamming the rod. I think of the jig that, <laughs> that John just casually pulled out of his f arm oh. and he was like don't blame that on me did you did you're you, an idiot bro did you not he says you're an idiot <laughs> <laughs> did you not see the video he like just most people probably don't realize it but ap hooked the f out of john really and john just like looks at ap and pulls it out and is like you're <laughs> idiot. like well i gotta show you now dude can you look it up it's honest yeah i think i got it on my phone <laughs> it's honestly amazing the fact that they were even recording that Oh, I mean, you know the old school fishing videos. That's golden era fishing on YouTube, dude. That you oh, just they were fishing steady the, uh, roll. Dude. Gary Yamamoto. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what that friendship is like. Gary Yamamoto I just gets dusted by Googans. No, I think. I think they might be in cahoots. Cahoots. Mm -hmm. I don't know that lunker log. Does it shake similar to the uh, the old Yamamoto? Um, Look at these bass, dude. They are they are either besties, like like making baby bass, or they are just. Hold not on, I'm getting, stoked. I'm making, I'm making John some money right now. Are you watching his whole video? No, but he's popping me with two ads right now. Damn, double ads. Double ad up, John. What the hell, man? Oh gosh, T T right now. So watch, watch the lure that he pulls out. Oh, of his did you oh ever God. notice that? No, I always saw that. Like, I remember just AP just spiking the shit out of the uh, the Fish rod ball, yeah. because that was just so obvious. But a lot of people don't realize John just pulled out a whole ass jig from that, his arm. The jig held the rod from flying out the boat. <laughs> yeah, good, good save, John. Ah, you got some. Ow. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Anyways, one more time. Oh my God! It's You're so idiot. A ten pounder. What were you doing? That was a ten. I gotta stop it. I gotta stop you right there, man. Stop. Hands up. Hands up. Oh shit! I gotta learn these buttons. That wasn't right. Can you give me the who the f is that guy sound? Who the fuck is that guy? Who the f is that? What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, hands up. Ha hands up. Pants down. <laughs> Pants down. Pants down. <laughs> Pants down. Uh, we're going to talk about some police interactions. This leads us to our next topic. <laughs> police. How we've been taken in. Um, yeah. Well, we're always looking for a good title and thumbnail, and police normally does pretty good. So we're going to talk about the interactions that led to Tristan almost being behind bars, but he got away with it. T, come on, come on, get back, get back up. You're you're good. How about I wake you up with this? We're so, dude. I'm telling you right now, we're getting comments that are like F soundboard. Before we get into uh, our hands behind your back, pants on your knees situation. I've got something to bring us uh, bring us full circle here for Cinco de Mayo before we move on. I brought a guest, Tristan. Oh. I, uh... Is that grandma? I brought grandma. No. She's still got a little bit left. No. Does she still have hand, mouth, foot? This is indeed the bottle that gave most of us hand, mouth, foot disease, which so, lasted for weeks. Oh but it also God. has sand inside of this. That's sacred. Chrome. And it's probably. So, this magical bottle to our left, we nicknamed Grandma. Uh, I think Uncle Sean did that. But we went on this amazing bachelor trip. Move it down. Move it down. Yes, bitch. She dings. Go off, sis. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we got this magical bottle, and this bottle, here, I want to talk about it. Give it to me. This bottle, we carried everywhere with us, at least when we, like, on the beaches and stuff like that, and it's pretty cool because it still has the sand on it, but we had, like, 10 dudes, 11 dudes 
from our bachelor trip. We were all staying in one house. The three guys that stayed with Brandon all got hand, mouth, foot. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys didn't know. Four or five other guys got it. Hand, mouth, foot sucks. I was, I, I, I'm not even sure we're not going to get it again by drinking out of that. We should have sanitized this. I, th- I mean, it is alcohol, so yeah, it should like, be good now. But are we, why did you? Oh, oh, I would not flip it upside down. Oh, she's got some juice still in her. Oh, yeah. Grandma's still thriving, bro. All right, do you want to go first? You brought it out to take a shot, right? Yeah. I feel like we need a cup. Travis, do we nah, have a cup? I you think. definitely need a cup because I feel like you're going to cheat. Give me that, Grandma. Show it to me in your mouth. I'll gurgle it. Show it to me. <laughs> uh, tell them uh, tell them what our next topic is while I bring in a... Uh, is the next topic the... Celebration of Grandma. The first time? The first time? <laughs> first time. <laughs> you want to talk about your first time on the pot? It looked similar to the two bass in the tank right now. That was my first time. Wow. God, you're so mean. Should we cut right here? Oh, oh. Oh no, dude! There we got to separate them. After this podcast, it's it's done yeah. with the big guy. Yeah, I think the little guy was in the tank for a while by himself, yeah. so now he's like kind of it's his dominant space, yeah. which is cool. He's banger 1.0, and you know you can't mess with him. You know, yeah. But uh, I mean, we'll throw some baby bluegill in there for for food or something. But yeah, yeah. I mean, it's so upsetting because I really wanted to have two bass in there. But it whatever. does look sick with two, but it doesn't look cool with two when the, one is getting his fins punched in. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. It, Cheers to to Cinco de Mayo and moving on to the next topic. Mm-hmm. Good gulp now. Oh God, that brings back me. <clears throat> oh, God, I miss her. That's not good. <laughs> have you seen that? <laughs> Uh, this is one of my ladies. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? This is Helga. <laughs> Shaniqua. <laughs> and this one, this one's my special lady. <laughs> Do you remember Tequila. All the- oh, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Grandma. <laughs> but take a sip of real. Oh, Grandma throwing it back on old beach. <laughs> See, that's not enough. Wait, wait, really? that was a whole goat. Did you put your hand on the Bible? I was, re- I, amen, brother. I was, <laughs> I was being serious. I was trying to, amen, brother. Give right. you a, give me a some of that. gurgle there. Gurgle, gurgle. It does give me the after effect of scope. You know how scope kind of burns your mouth? That's what grandma does. Hey, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing? It's right? been a while. You beat me. This po- people have already stopped listening to the podcast. So I mean, I, technically, we could say whatever the f- we want. Oh my God, brother, are you trying to get her to come back from the dead? What are you doing over there? Jeez, there's no genie at the bottom of that <laughs> bottle. Yeah, <laughs> but and, it's smooth. and we're back. We are back. It, everybody always says that about expensive stuff. It's smooth, but it always so, tastes like shit to me. Yeah, I mean, all of it definitely still tastes like shit. But the thing is, is Grandma is a of a class of her own. And Should we just keep this is, up here? Yeah, that is the smoothest tequila you can ever get. All right. Cut Not it. ever. So uh, <clears throat> I guess in about uh, six or seven days, we're going to see if we got a hand, mouth, foot. So we'll keep you updated <laughs> on that. But, yeah, that would suck. Yeah, no, it does suck. It starts in your mouth, then it moves to your hands, and surprise, surprise, my on your feet. That's crazy. That's why it's called hand, mouth, foot, by the way. It just goes to your hand, mouth, and feet. And speaking of other stuff that sucks is getting arrested. Yeah, but what doesn't suck <clears throat> as much as not getting arrested, but also getting in trouble. Does that make sense? Yeah. So there was this huge incident back in the day, probably 2018. Well, let's break it down about why all this stuff happens right. in Columbus, Georgia, Chattahoochee River, setting the scene on the Whitewater Rapids. Ready, set, go. So back in the day, there used to not be any laws or city ordinance that kept you from jumping in the water, being in the water without a life reserve. It was just your good old river. Yep. You go down there, have a good time, do what you want. Boom. Boom. Be safe. That's it. So what happened was was there was a significant amount of people drowning in the river, jumping in the water, falling it, in the water, being too close to the rapids. Another thing that happens there is it's dam-oriented. Uh, so right. it'll be low, uh, low flow is what they called yeah. it. Where it's like, it looks like a nice 
stream, right? Like, I mean, it's still a whole river, but yeah. it's nicely, slowly flowing. You could e- easily, if you're a decent swimmer, you could swim down the river. Yep, easily. But then the dam gates open. That sounds like derogatory, but the oh, the gates open of the dam, yeah. and then a lot of water comes down. There's sirens that go off. And it's fairly rapid. But people also get trapped on these islands. Right. There are these little islands that they might swim to, but those islands go underwater during high flow, which this changes daily. Right. Low flow, high flow. Yeah. So for some reason, one year, um, or maybe it was a leading up of multiple years. It was over years, a course of years yeah, this happened, yeah. That multiple people are dying from the they're, river. They're drowning. Yeah, they're drowning. Yep. So, <clears throat> a city ordinance was put in because obviously, if you're on a body of water or if you're down, this is just a Columbus, Georgia city ordinance. Yeah, it's very small. That um, says that if you're, you know, in the water in the city, that you have to have a life preserve on, which yeah. is a great law. But it's not a great law whenever you're a scuba diver or well, a free diver. So, this law was not thought about for scuba divers or free divers right. because. The, the only people scuba diving and free diving was me. This you, is for the majority. This is for the majority right. of people. Kayakers, life jacket. Yeah. People fishing on the bank, life jacket. Life jacket. Yeah. People playing in the water. I think it life was if there was there was so many feet. If you were that close to the river, you had to have a life jacket. I think it was like four feet from the water. Yeah. You had to have a life jacket. Yeah. So it was a significant. It, it affected a significant amount right. of people that traditionally would not wear life jackets. So they had hella police down there to police that because right. people were legitimately dying. It was right. a it was a continuous problem to the point where we were wearing these essential life vests and we would put rocks in them. I remember this putting rocks in my life vest so that I would be able to sink before we knew about weighted vests because there was a time where we did not know about uh, weighted. Uh, what is it called? Weight, weight belt. Weight, weight belts, belts yeah. that you could use to dive with. Didn't, had no idea about those. Um, but, so, me and Brandon decided to go and make a river treasure video. Yep. And head down to the river. There was a spot in the river where people throw so many cans. It is out of the current. And it's a spot that, any, it, even at it's, high flow, it's you an, could... It's an eddy. Yeah. So, there's a big island that prevents the water rapids from affecting that area. So it's essentially part of the river, but it's like a chill. Yeah. It's a chill chill spot spot. that even at high flow at the most dangerous point of the river, you could swim there and be okay. So it was not high flow, but we were swimming, we were diving, we were picking up trash, doing our river treasure videos, just like we do any other time. And, uh, but this is when we were like fairly, I mean, this is like sub 100. I this mean, is like 20, 30,000 yeah, subs. Yeah, not we were not big YouTubers at all. <clears throat> so, we were swimming, we're diving, we're finding river treasure, we're having a good time. And me and obviously when you're diving, you're not picking your head up. Right. We're, we have our head down, we're snorkeling, and we're just searching for stuff, picking up trash, having a freaking ball. At the time, Brandon had <laughs> this is when Brandon wore <laughs> these long sleeves tight like uh essentially dry fit shirts do you, you want to know the story behind that i mean i i kind of know right well i mean it's uh too hot to wear a wetsuit and we thought the wetsuits looked really cool on camera we want to continue that like uniform yeah so i bought these like tight skinned camo yeah. shirts like shirts and pants and pants and i would just wear my and i was just like over. goodness gracious yeah. this kid is ridiculous yeah it kind of but looks crazy now that i look back at yeah. it. yeah but so Um, but I'm just swimming with my board shorts and I didn't have enough money to purchase one of these vests, nor did I know about the city city ordinance that had, had been put in effect like that month because obviously I'm just worried about our fish right now. He's, he's laying down. He's chilling. I'm going to keep eye. So basically we, we had no idea about this city ordinance because it just happened. It was just put in place, which is not. A reason to not abide by the law. T, you, t- you got to get to the to the story here. Oh, so now, <laughs> oh now you understand. Now you no, understand. bro. I'm like, golly, brother. I don't well, know. Maybe I was just shit. We were diving. We Brandon had a life vest on. I did not. But Brandon's outfit looked like he did have. I mean, that he didn't because it was all black. But you could clearly see mine because it was just skin. Yeah. So we get called out of the water by the police officer. He goes to write us both tickets. Well, we get over there and. Uh, 
he immediately was, being like, rude. Yeah, he was super rude. And this is one video you can find on my channel. It's pretty easy to find, but <clears throat> I'm not super proud of it because now that I look back at it, I wish I would have handled it like more cool headed. But he was basically saying that I. I was like, no, I'm wearing my life jacket. I got it right here. He's like, no, you just put that on. So basically he was saying that I lied to him. Right. And that as we walked out of the water, I magically grabbed this life jacket that is, it's, it had to have been mine. It matched my yeah. whole outfit, you know? Yeah. And put that on to walk over to him, which is not the case. He basically called me out of my character and I didn't like that. So I, uh, I didn't, I don't feel like I acted the best in that on YouTube, but. I still don't necessarily regret it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I just wish I would have handled it more calm. But I, I basically was like, bro, I had this on the whole time. What are you talking about? Like, when would I put this on? Yeah. Where would I got it? Are you calling me guilty into proven innocent? Are yeah. you going to give me this ticket and make me prove that I didn't have and it? Mind you, I'm over here holding the camera with my, without my life vest on that I'd already gotten my ticket wrote. And I was just so <laughs> pissed about that situation. Because it's yeah. like, one, I don't know, this... this could sound like super pretentious or whatever but at the end of the day tristan you jake and myself at that river our job in our mind was to clean that place right. up we got to find some cool ass shit we got to find phones we got to find gopros we got to literally make our dreams a reality as far as youtube and where we are now but dude there was but a lot of stuff we, that we cleaned, cleaned so much shit out of there and, bro and not that that's above the law but we cleaned so much stuff that saved lives. But it's, literally ropes, hooks, and stuff I mean, where a lot of people swim. Hella turtles. Yeah. And, and Tristan's not just like saying that to gas me up. Like we legitimately cut uh, cast nets out of there all the time that had stuff well, tangled I'm, all up in it. I'm shit. saying line that could tangle humans. <laughs> yes. And would not break. Yes. Yes. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, we did a lot of good. And that's what was crazy. In that situation, you ended up getting, not having a ticket, correct? I can't remember. Oh, I mean, I, I told him we had everything on camera, and he was like, yeah. well, I've got everything on camera. Oh, and I was I like, that. check it. Check the footage. Let's go to the yeah. cop car right now. Let's check the footage, bro. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, I had this on the entire oh, remember time. That. You remember that? He was yeah. like, well, I got a camera to prove you didn't. I was like, then show it. Yeah. Let's do it. Knowing that you can't see that. It was he, just... Because we were over 100 yards away. It was <clears> uh, <throat> it was just frustrating, but I think... Um, so any, I got a ticket. I Yes, you got a ticket. And I had to go to court. I did not get a ticket, but and I went to court. I also made a scene, which yeah. I'm not super proud of. But well, I went to court. The judge threw it out. Yeah, because I explained what we were doing. Yeah, and uh, I said I I had obviously I had no idea. I, I genuinely did not know about the city ordinance that went into effect that week. Yeah, and um, so I went in, told him the story, and he was like, he looks over at the officer and he's like, "What were these kids doing? Where were they located?" He was like, it was like less than three foot of water. And yeah. the officer, he said he could tell that. And um, so the guy was like, dude, get, get out of here. Yeah. He was like, thank you for cleaning the river. But then, so this same situation, same officer. Well, now that they're, we're hot at this point. Right. We're like, if we're playing GTA, <clears throat> we got two stars. Oh, yeah, we got two stars. <laughs> right. So we're like, <laughs> how can we dive in the river yep. correctly? safely and abide by the law because now it's like even if you bring your camera guy down there or whatever i think yep. jake was the only one with the camera guy at the time it's like even he needs a life jacket like we got to make sure everybody's i think covered. this is before he even had one really yeah it was just crazy yeah. so we found these things that triathlon users wear <clears throat> it this was on your you, leg yeah this is me you and jake, and jake yeah. yep so we're trying to abide by the law it was on my leg it was a strap on my leg you can pull it and it's a pfd a personal flotation device that's all you have to have on right so we're swimming in the same spot, bro. Like two weeks later, we're yeah. swimming in the same exact location. Next thing you know, the guy comes up, he calls. I mean, he's like, hey, get out of the water. Get out of the water, blah, blah, blah. We're like, crap, dude. What the heck is going on now? What could we be doing? Oof. Pulls us out. This is on Jake's uh, channel. Okay. And pulls it out. He Jake demonstrates what happens, blah, blah, blah. He was like, oh, oh no. Oh, I remember he this. He was like, no, this isn't a... You know, this isn't what you have to have. Hey, and Jake was like, can I get a supervisor? Bring your supervisor. So they pulled a supervisor down to the river. And uh, the guy was like, dude, what, you know, what are you doing? Like, you can't keep, you got to know your stuff before you can get on to them. Yeah. Let me give uh, some context here. That was pretty interesting. So uh, 
Remember, I had the vest that I put rocks in, so it would like kind yeah. of defeat the purpose of a vest. But but you had it. On. The law doesn't doesn't say help. you can't put rocks in it. Well, it doesn't help divers, right. right? It doesn't make sense for divers. Yeah, there's no exceptions, but but Jake found this leg unit, right? And when you rip this cord, a CO two canister fills up this bladder, which then turns into a life jacket that you put over your neck, right? And so I remember that. Because Jake didn't want to waste that CO2 container, yeah. but he was pissed at that cop too. So he's like, well, I'll just show you. Does it. And that cop was like, well, if you're in an emergency, you won't be able to grab that and put that on. He was like, who are you to say that I can't grab this and put yeah, this that's on? Not what, that's not what the and, law says. But then I remember he was like, well, it depends on how athletic you are. He was like, well, we're talking about different people and athleticism. Like, I clearly just demonstrated that I know what I'm doing with this yeah. thing. And you're just, like, it was this weird gray area. <laughs> and we dude. were the only people that were having this underwater. Bro- we had yeah. to dive, dude. dude we we were, can't be bobbing up on the we surface. We were at war with this one cop. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all the other cops <laughs> come by, wave at us. Yes, thank you, well, man. Well, so many people like I'm not. I'm not trying to be that guy, but we have a really good reputation in Columbus. Most of it is because everybody sees us and or knows us in some way from YouTube. There, but we're also doing like good deeds. And Jake is like we're the, genuinely cleaning that place. Jake is the golden child there because. He started off, he made it popular, and he made cleaning up trash he's, cool. He's the hometown boy, too. He is the hometown boy. And uh, so you have this one cop. And now. Jake does not do well with confrontation. Oh, he yeah. He does not like it. Yeah. It's not awkward, but he is like, no, I'm in the right. <laughs> like, yeah. bitch, I'm in the right. Yeah. You are in the wrong. Like, yeah. But he's also so nice with yeah, it, too. Yeah, it's too it's nice. Like, it's funny, but... <laughs> I remember that one cop, bro. I feel this is what I do feel bad about. He got blasted oh, so in the comments. Yes. Oh, Boy, wait, yeah. Wait, wait, yours went on World Star. Oh, did it? Yes. World, damn, we need a World Star button. We'll come back with a World Star <laughs> button on the World Star. Yeah. Burr, 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 burr. So I didn't know that. Well, I want to say. Uh, people were even making fun of the fact that he was a bike cop. Oh. They're like, they don't even trust you with a car, bro. <laughs> they were just saying some blasphemous Which shit. Which is not nice. It's so bad. My sister's in law enforcement. Like, I wear the thin blue line literally all the time. Like, yeah. I am down with law enforcement. Yeah. But the problem was this dude just like, we didn't have a good interaction. He was just a Karen. That's actually a really good way to put it. He was a Karen law enforcement, and that's the only way to put it. Like, <laughs> as disrespectful as that, as that is, he was so disrespectful to us. It, the same situation. This happened three well, different times. This was because of my video didn't pop off over time. It popped off immediately. Yeah. So this happened three separate times, correct? The first time, I was not wearing the thing you were yeah. second time me and jake were wearing the proper attire. trying to be right yes, trying even at to that be point right. it's like it's up to discretion right? right but at the same time we just had jay gat on the uh, game yeah. warden and it's discretion it's like you see these dudes have life vest on now mind you if you were shirtless or whatever and you were wearing some thing around your leg, of course he doesn't think you have right. a life jacket on. But once you explain to him and demonstrate yeah, it and like, say, okay. this is a Coast Guard approved life jacket, which you require. It's it was just like, not in the way you like, want me to wear it. It's like when you get in a fight with your girl oh, and you're in the wrong. I don't know. That never goes my way, so I don't know. <laughs> right? You're you're in the wrong. Or you're in a fight with someone. Let's just say someone yeah, else. My girl, if like, it's my girl, it could girl. be Coast Guard approved and on my neck, but I think I'd still get in trouble. Listen, so you, I'm you're, just kidding. I love you're you. having I, a... I love you so much. You're, she hasn't listened this far into the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Who the f*** is that? So, <laughs> so if you're ever wait, in wait. an argument where you're like, dang, dude, I up, but I gotta ride this out. <laughs> you, know? you gotta double down. There's no back and now you gotta double down. <laughs> Dude, yeah. it's so bad. So you just gotta keep going. But so it happened again. It happened the first time, me and you, you yeah. were in the right, I was in the wrong. Yeah. Whatever. I went to court. Yeah. Second time, Jake and I were both in the right. Yeah. Still had a misfit. Third time, I don't we got the actual the vest that we wear now. The hide vest. And we still got pulled out of the water by was this thing. Was I where there? You, I think you were there for this one. This is the actual video that I, that Jake posted. I'm pretty I sure was the hide. Oh, he put both of them in yeah. the one video yeah. or something like that. Because so, by the way, the hide vest, which like, huh? The vest we wear. Well, yeah, the vest we our I vest. Mean, it's still currently whatever. I mean, people know. 
people call Jake Jake Hyde because it's just Jake <laughs> on one side and Hyde on the other, which is like no, the funniest thing. It pisses Jake off so much. <laughs> if you see Jake go up to him, be like, Jake Hyde, what's up? No, just say, what's up, Mr. Hyde? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually hilarious. Um, um, but yeah, the vest we wear now, the hide vest that we wear now. But it was the only reason we wear it now yeah. is because back then and we needed I'm it. so thankful because we look so dumb without it. Yeah. It, if it, I don't have my hide vest it on, looks like a, you look feel, like a seal. I feel just so <laughs> out of place. I don't know why that little vest makes me just feel like it's literally my Superman cape. I don't know. It, you know what's funny too is when I was in Hawaii with like the real badass yeah. free divers. And that's like, the thing. Like they surfers were wearing, don't wear them. Yeah. Spear fishermen don't wear yeah. them. But dude, I can't not. <laughs> they, the, uh, the free divers that like I was training with, they were wearing like, skin suits, which yeah. is like a whole different level. It's a whole different, you know, like the thing that uh, swimmers wear, they put over their yeah, head. It's like that. It's it's a whole wetsuit of that yeah. shit. Whatever that shit yeah, is. Yeah, dude, I've seen one of those suits and it's nuts. Yeah, it's weird, right? And so like, then they see me <laughs> with a f***ing wetsuit on with this random jetpack backpack looking thing within yeah. this knife on my arm, knife on my leg, weight belt, all this kitted out stuff. They're like, yeah, this guy is not from This here. guy has no idea what he's doing. Yeah, exactly. So... But now it's a part of our uniform. It's like, you have to yeah, have I, it. I can't wear and it. Even in videos where I'm not around water, I feel like I, if I don't have it, I'm just not fully Yeah, you, you do the uh, shirtless with the yes. vest on a lot. Yes. That's funny. Due to my weight gain. Yeah. But... <laughs> So, uh, when no, I, I just, it just makes you feel at home. I don't know why I did a tide pool video yeah. in Hawaii and I wore my swim trunks, my booties, uh, like a cutoff shirt and my hide vest. Yeah. And Ryan was like, God forbid you fall in a <laughs> tide pool and you bow drown. Did you, you have video the, that? Oh, I mean, I'm sure it's video that would go per somewhere, but no, that would have been so funny. The best is when Jake does like a fossil video on the ground and wears yeah. his life jacket. I, I don't know if I've ever, <laughs> I've done it it's magnet fishing. Definitely done it magnet yeah. fishing. But again, that's part of the look. It's yeah. so f hard to not wear it. Bro. Yeah, dude. It's, <laughs> it's really weird. weird. You know what's weird is I have, uh, I only have like two left that like work because we beat, we literally wear them for every video. So we beat the shit out of them. But uh, I'm like, man, these two, if, if one of these two goes. Like, oh, your hide vest? Yeah. I found one randomly the other day. Really? That was I in need a, a box. I, I need a shipment of more <clears throat> of them. Because that was in a box, and I was like, oh, oh, I'm so thankful. I still have it. It's just that brand new wrapper. Huh? Yeah. That new new? Yeah, but sometimes the new news just don't work very well. Really? Like the zipper is a lot flimsier. and the, they, don't, um, they don't make them like they used to? No, the, bat, the old ones held together really well. It's pretty crazy. We're so known for it that I got a DM literally about four days ago. And somebody was asking, like, what's that vest you always wear? I hit him back, and I was like, use code jigging, bro. I think you'll save some money off. And he was like, yeah. bro, bought it, bro. Sent me a screenshot. I was like, damn. Yeah. So it's kind of crazy. People are still buying them. Pretty wild. I love them. Pretty uh, wild. Yeah, I wish they I, I had an interaction. Uh, so does that complete the Columbus police? As far as, like, dive around the diving, yeah. That, Other than that, it's that just cops getting it. called for guns that, that have been found. And stuff yeah, like and th dude, that's we've had some weird situations with that as well but i haven't I've i just really it cool was just ones. my first gun was the rifle that i found it's a big one dude. right it was it's really really cool it, it literally changed my life and did, i was just, did it change your life or did it change your former life yappy tron tron former life yappy tron because you're yappy now bro yeah you got former life go. yeah i gotta get let that shit go <laughs> just What's kidding in bro. the past um but <laughs> it was just something super special and <clears throat> At that time, we had a good look with uh, law enforcement, and I didn't want to make the guy look bad. Right. So I had to edit the video like he, to make him look like a, a good guy, but I had to cut out so much because he was so rude. Wait, what? When I gave him the gun, I was like, there was a thing. There still is a thing. Like Some cops are like, dude, that's so cool. Y'all found this. Like I'm going to uh, turn it in if it, it's not used in a case. Oh, you were looking for like the interview part. Of the video. Well, no, 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 not even that. Like, I, I, I didn't care. I had my video. Like, but handing in, handing in to the police was a big thing to show that we were trying to help out the community in any way that we could. Right. Part but, of the storyline. Right, right. It's just a great part of the story. <clears throat> we were gonna do it either way because it's like, what are you gonna do right. with this gun? But what I was looking for was the communication with the guy of, hey, <clears throat> I know you found this gun. 
What are you laughing about? You clear your throat specifically Sorry. into the microphone hey, hey, every time. Hey, I know you found this gun. And he was just like, yep, this going to destruction. I mean, uh, like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember? And yeah. I was like, whoa, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> well, can I keep it then if you're going to destroy it? <laughs> nope, can't keep it. Yeah, and it was like, obviously, you couldn't use it anymore. But usually cops are like, yeah, we're going to keep it for this amount of days. And if it is. You know, if it's not anybody's, if it's not used, you can come back and pick it up. It's like our trophies, bro. Yeah, that's something we learned over time. It's like winning a Super Bowl and them saying, hey, can't get a ring. And yeah. you're like, oh, no. I, I, what Matter what fact, did I do all this for? Here's an old ring. We're going to crush it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was just another interaction. But I, but I made him look good like because just I wasn't going to have a You always want to tell negative, the best story yeah. on YouTube. That so, you but yeah, I mean, we've definitely had some horrible interactions with law enforcement we've but we've great. also had some great we had some really great bro one of my favorite now mind you jake rented cops essentially for a when i heard that that was crazy to and me. they're not expensive really it's 30 dollars an hour for a cop really yeah Dude, we should have security that's right outside what i'm the, saying actually we should have more which security. is a lot of money per hour stop we should have more security because we definitely have security outside this. Listen, building. so here's the thing. So we search this this pond, yeah. right? We find a gun. Right. As soon as we find the gun, yeah. there is literal people shooting AR-15s, AKs in the parking lot right across the street, just shooting them out into the, the woods, which happens to be right next to a neighborhood. And the cops don't even do nothing about it because really? they don't want any pro like. Dude, you a, a week no a week prior no to okay. us searching the spot, a yeah. man was murdered where we found the gun. That's wild. Which was nuts. So, uh, so we were like, so the cop was like, "You cannot come out here." He was he was actually started out really rude, but then he res he was like super respectful. Yeah. He was like, "If you guys come out here, you gotta you gotta talk to the park and you gotta have you gotta have." Back up. This is the rented guy or no? No, this is not the rented guy. This is the, the cop that came. Oh, and then you guys rented Yeah, so then we're like, officers. okay, if we rent police officers, got it. which never knew there was a thing. So then we, we <laughs> Jake rented these people. He's like, hey, I got some cops. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean you have cops? He's like, well, yeah, we said, you know, we were going to go back and, and magnet fish this place. You said you were going to do it with me. You're my magnet fishing buddy. And I'm like, no, oh, Jake, God. I don't want to do this anymore. Because mind you, dude, magnet fishing sucks. Like, it also does suck, It bro. sucks, but it's, it's so <laughs> rewarding when you find something. But I'm telling you, 40 plus trips, all day trips, like 12 hours <laughs> magnet fishing, 12 times I've 40. I've been on a few of those. You too. never find anything. And this Not, one time we find something, so it now gives Jake hope, and I'm like, shit, dude, yeah. this sucks. Yeah. So he rents the cops, and they were so chill. They watched the yeah. videos. Because they they're just, having a good time, yeah. too. They're, so, it's an easy-ass day for them, bro. They yeah. get to watch two idiots on a Run kayak. Around. But, dude, it, I felt so safe. Like, one, bet, there was bro. three of them, right? So one would stay on this side of the pond halfway, and then one would follow us as we're walking down the pond, right? Anybody who saw you guys thought y'all were official as yeah. Probably, yeah. Then. So, and, and there was, it was on always on the outskirts. There, there were squirts. There was <laughs> one road in, right? So, yeah. it, there's a cop on each side and a cop going back and forth with us as we went. Do you know what those cops would say to someone if they saw them <laughs> as a stranger? Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> All right, let's cut this. That's thing. good, man. I like that one. That was a good one. In executive decision, Banger Bass 2.0. He's exiting the building tonight. He just doesn't look like he's doing the best. It's like he's not having a good time. He's getting he, he's getting stressed out. Speaking of bass, switching up a bit. How's your grandma treating you? Oh. <laughs> he slapped the. She thick. Oh, she is thick. Uh, speaking of bass, I want. Ah! Oh wow! I wanted to switch it up to uh, one of the guests we had on. I think it was pretty prolific guest still. What does prolific mean? Prolific is a great word to use. Say like awesome. Yeah, I mean, okay. he was a he he was a pretty outstanding guest. Wow, that is intense. Yeah, grandma, I get you, boy. No, no, that was intense. Oh no, it's good flavor though. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> good flavor, no. <laughs> I don't know why I just grabbed that. Uh, you got to hit another shot at grandma. I will. Uh, I want to talk about Guggen guy though. He said a couple things. So when we had, um, so Derek hold here, on, let's I keep on calling him. Did Guggen we? Guy. Did he ever talk about what happened? He, did he talk about his two? Yeah, we did. We talked about his two hour ride there to the airport. The two airport. hour ride back. 
He yeah. got home at 11.30. No, no, no. His flight landed close to midnight, yeah. and he got home at oh, at 2 a.m. Yeah. His so time. So 24-hour. Which, which was really yeah. around 4 o'clock our time. So, so. I just want to say he was freaking sick, like uh, genuinely. When we were on the car ride there, I <clears throat> I don't know how to explain this, B, but maybe you can. <laughs> <laughs> she got me. Yeah. Popo thing this this water play boy. This great goose baby. Hey Brandon, what you got on? <laughs> Don't worry about it, sweetheart. That's what we do that. Oh. Hey Brandon, what you got on? Damn. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. That's funny. This that splat. Um so oh, man. <laughs> Goodness. No, what you're gonna say about something about the car ride when he was talking about something. He was talking about something. I, I got something I can bring up about him that. I want to talk about. Oh, oh. So I don't do, sometimes I don't do well with like new Strangers? people. Yeah. yeah. I'm very well, like once I get warmed up, I'm a very outgoing person. Well, you're a great people person, but once you feel comfortable around yeah. new people, if they're I, in. Yeah. If they're I don't, in. If, like if we're hanging out at a bar, I'm not going to go up to someone and just be like hanging out with them, talking to them if Correct. they're new. But if. New person in the group says, T, let's go take shots. You're going to be like, okay, y'all take shots, yeah. and now y'all are best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. It's weird. But yeah. so I was very, I just have like a little bit of social anxiety, which you would never expect, but I never show it. Right. Like, no, you would never know this. It's a but, mental battle. Yeah, it's a mental battle that I have that like I have a little bit of social anxiety with new people. Okay. That's like, bro, like in bars, like my wife. Never would have went up and talked to her at a bar. Right. Never. Right. Never. I was never that guy. Um, so, thankfully, she came and talked to me. But the guy was... Derek. Derek was awesome. And Correct. I was a little bit worried when he got in the car, whatever. It was cool. He's behind me. He could have pulled out a knife, slit our throats. Well, it could all he came out of TSA, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure he didn't have anything. <laughs> he was pretty checked, you know? No, no. But... it. And he just started telling his story. And what sucked is, is obviously we were filming a podcast. So we had an hour drive home and I was yeah. like, Hey, we can't talk about this, but yeah. dude, I love the energy you're bringing right now. Like, yeah, but I don't, I never told I, him that. Like, I'm not going to lie. There's two things that happen to people when they get on camera. Yeah. They either flourish. Cause they're like, this is my moment. I'm here. This is it. Yeah. Banger bass one is tripping. Now, I bro. know. I saw dude. He's freaking, I think. Banger 2.0 brought mushrooms to the tank or oh, something because no. Banger 1.0 is just like, okay. he's flipping out. Anyway, there's two things that happen to people when they get on the on on the camera. Right. They either flourish because this is my moment. They maybe do a little too much or maybe yeah. they fit in the pocket perfect. Right. They're the perfect energy. But or that's they rare. don't bring the energy. Or they kind of shell up a little bit because yeah. they're like, oh my God, this is going to this is gonna be seen by so many people and they overthink it, right? Yeah. But Derek was... I think Derek was his authentic self on the pod. Genuinely. Which I was a little nervous about. Like, I didn't know if... I never... I thought the whole the whole situation was a big risk to, for me. See, that was funny to me because when I was talking to you about it, you're like, well, I don't know. And I was like, dude, I'm telling you, this is going to be the pod. This is the podcast that we need to do. Like, mind you, for everybody listening, the reason I'm saying that it was a risk is because we're spending a lot of money each month to bring you guys these podcasts. Yeah. And it... We're flat. We're not. There's no profit here. There's no profit here. There's. We are in so, the red every single month. So seriously, on the Banger for, pod. that's the thing. So for everybody that is listening, everybody that is watching, like we truly love doing this and truly care about you guys to bring you guys this content because we we thoroughly enjoy it. Honestly. We also don't know where the hell this goes yeah, in the we future. Don't, we don't know where this could go. We, we don't know if this is like a wow, man, I'm so glad we did that. It paid off. Wow, like we did so well. Or it could just be what you like you said the other day, like we just have a bunch of banger shit. We just got a <laughs> bunch of banging ass <laughs> conversation and we got hella polaroids. Like, you no, know I, mean? I I think it's going to I I dude, I seriously pray that it's going to pay off. <laughs> if it doesn't if it doesn't, we did it. We got a badass you know, fish tank. We know? said we did it. We no, we fuck. we tried. It's one of my favorite things. I've I've I mean I think I've said this out of uh, seventeen of the podcasts. I've said it probably sixteen times that that's I do this shit because I want to hang out with that's you. Even crazy. That I way. don't do this shit for the money. Yeah. If the money no. comes, bro, that's dope. Yeah. No. We got to sure. pay the bills, and then we could get we could fly wherever the we want, and talk yeah. to whoever. But I'm doing this shit so we could hang out yeah. every single month. And have a good ass time, bro. Yeah. Like we literally just bought a hundred 
thousand dollars of tacos for shits and giggles. Yeah. And now we're drinking grandma. We're probably gonna get ham out the foot. We're drinking freaking seltzers. Like, it's just a chill ass night. But no, I her. will enjoy this. And now it's on the internet capture and, forever. And, I mean, we we will be able to look back on it and think about how dumb these stories. Yeah. Are. How awesome these stories are. Honestly. I mean, uh, I do want to get back to Derek though. Yeah, I Derek, agree with you though. Yeah. Uh, so Derek said a few things after the podcast. We had to actually film some other stuff, but Tris and I, we we had Fanatic and Derek here yeah. at the same time. We had to film a somehow, couple things. Somehow our two guests that we had didn't fly into the same airport. That was my fault. Which was super funny. Yeah. <laughs> that was my fault. Which is so funny. So I had to take Derek, you took Fanatic, and Jaquan. But yeah. Um, so... We had to film a couple other things, but we decided to put that on hold so we could actually give Derek a good time, at least with the time we had, which was only yeah, about an actually, hour and a half. We actually put off a brand deal that we yeah. had. Our first brand deal. Yeah, so... It, Matilda was the, mad. Making, making money, it. what we were just talking about, we literally pushed a whole... De- the only brand deal that mm-hmm. the podcast has, we said, for right now, <laughs> we're going to show our guest a good time, and we took him out fishing, so... Uh, a lot. All of my boats are down right now. Yeah, I have a kayak. I have a, I have a kayak. <laughs> so I put him on the kayak. I took the inflatable Just pool toy. <laughs> I made it half the way yeah. around the lake in that bitch. But I was talking to Derek a lot while we were out on the on the lake. You had together. time to fish on the lake with him, and also driving him back to the airport. Yeah, which had is another hour drive. Had another hour <clears throat> driving with him. But he told me some things on the lake that didn't make the podcast. That I was like, damn, I wish that would have made it. But I thought it was such a cool conversation. I told him, I was like, Tristan would have really appreciated that. Yeah. So, well, I was like, in my head, like, how do I make sure this kid has a good time? Because, yeah. like, I don't want to be the guy who flies him down, does a podcast, flies him back, yeah. which is literally what we did based on his schedule, based on our right. schedule. That's all that we that could worked. do. It's all that we could do. So I told him, I was like, normally, like, I'd love to co- have you come down. And he has the open invite. I told him, anytime you're in Florida, bro, let me know. I'm, I'm coming to get you. We're going to have a good time right. doing whatever. So me and Derek, we're cool. I got a lot to make up to Derek. But <laughs> he. Really? Oh, yeah. That good, good? I'm going to give him some grandma. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Grandma, I don't want grandma throws it back. <laughs> <laughs> grandma will get you. Wait, what do you do when grandma <laughs> runs out? <laughs> you got to throw it back. <laughs> you got to get a grandpa. so uh one thing though that he said on the water is that he's like man i really don't think you guys understand the effect you have on people now with Derek, he spent all of his money with guggen guggen had this outrageous ten thousand dollar bundle if you guys didn't check out that podcast please listen to it that one is like literally worth listening to especially if you made it an hour into the freaking halfway wasted yeah. podcast well i think and dude, I. I think all these people are have already listened if they made it an hour yeah if you've made it this you, far, you guys are super that. subscribers super fan uh, super freaking awesome um so <laughs> <laughs> you're so you're so super you're super <laughs> <laughs> so one thing he said though when we were out there he was like man i really just don't think you understand the effect you have on people like just knowing that you're cool, just knowing you are who you are, like that. You're cool. <laughs> well, he was like, "You're you're cool people." Oh, this is what he said. Yeah. Okay. He said, "Just knowing." If you're that, saying this, I was like, "Wait." No, no, no. He was okay. saying, "Just knowing that, like, you're cool people, like you are who you are. There's no fake shit here." Oh, okay, okay, okay. He was okay. he was basically saying like that we're just good people. We are who he thought we were on camera. Everything that we portray online is correct. All right. Okay. He said, "What you all, dude? This hit me. I, I wrote it down." Derek doesn't know this, but I wrote it down while I was on my phone. Oh, really? In the middle, yeah. He <laughs> said, uh, the <laughs> fact that you give me 15 minutes of freedom when I watch your videos, like, you don't know how much that means to me. Really? 15, that's how he literally said, when you give me 15 minutes of freedom. And I got chills saying that. Yeah. And I, I'm not taking that as, like, he's talking about my videos. I'm right. saying, like, our creator friends, like, have created this space where, like, Someone like Derek, who obviously, like, he seems like a like he's in a good space. Yeah, he seems like he's doing really well. And, dude, like, the kid, by the way, the kid was ripped. What the? Dude, the kid, he went on the kayak. He was like, dude, he's from Kansas. He was like, this is a good Florida sun. I'm going to rip my shirt off. Like, mind like, you. I do need was, some sunscreen, though. Mind you. Hold on. When I got here, I was pale as f- <laughs> Okay? <laughs> and yeah. I'm a Georgia boy. It's not <laughs> much of a drastic dude, difference. Dude, the homie was ripped. Bro, he took the shirt off, and I was like. 
felt like it, it was a Whoa. beam of light how white he was. But I was <laughs> like, God damn, bro. You're ripped as <laughs> Chill like, out. Hey, my girlfriend's here, bro. Bro, chill out. Put your <laughs> shit out. It was weird. Hey, you need to wear some of that. Well, okay, hold on. When we were driving, when we were driving here, <laughs> when we were driving here, he was like, yeah, I'm in my cut. And I was like, oh, he knows what the he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, because we were talking to, about, about that just, we're on a we diet. We were like, yeah, we're on a diet. Yeah, because we, we went to <laughs> Chick-fil-A, got grilled chicken sandwiches, and took the bread off. And I ate that we're like, yeah, we're on a diet. <laughs> he said, yeah, I'm in my cut. Yeah. But order whatever the you think is good oh. <laughs> no uh so he said he said uh i mean it was it was unmistakable the way he said it, it was like you give me 15 minutes of freedom right and he was like you don't understand what that does for people's mental health yeah. and i don't think he was saying like personally because i mean the kids I mean, seem like on on cloud 10 maybe i mean but if if he is yeah you never know but I, whatever um it was just cool that he hit that point yeah. where it's like something that I know resonates with yeah. you. And I feel like as I'm getting older, it's weird. I'm either getting soft, which freaks me out. Yeah. Like I'm really concerned about this fish. <laughs> like it freaks me out how soft I'm getting. Yeah. But I think it's just like being in touch with your emotions. And then like, I look at all the shit around me. I'm like, Maybe it's imposter syndrome where it's like you don't feel like you deserve the shit that you have, but I also feel like it could go away. To, I'm dealing with a lot of weird shit too. Yeah. So I'm in like a weird mental place, but I don't take it as like a bad mental place. Yeah, it's, it's just, just like a bunch you're of super changes. aware. Yeah. And uh, when he hit that note of like, you give me 15 minutes of freedom, I was right. like, dude, like I never thought about it like that. Or that like, is really cool. Because I look at, like, I listen to. You know, We've addressed this before <laughs> where <laughs> we've uh, addressed this by it's like a Sprite chug. Dude, you were like, you know, I did a Sprite <laughs> chug today with another person. I was like, what are you doing? I was like, well, we had extra Sprite. <laughs> Look through it again. Try to hold my burp and practice. Yeah. I still couldn't do it. Um, but I watch creators and yeah. I enjoy the other stuff. And maybe it does give me like that 15 minutes too. Well, I, but when he said that, I was like, damn, bro, that's like. That is freaking awesome. Yeah. And, um, you know, with the, <laughs> like I said before, I'm, I'm super happy at where I'm at. Super, um, uh, my life is amazing, but I still deal with mental health. And like we were had, we had a conversation. This was just me and you talking on in your, uh, in the kitchen. And, um, you're like, dude, I just don't understand like playing video games, you know? Yeah. And I was like, <clears throat> well, you, you were like, I understand it because that, like, uh, you explained a situation with one of your friends. Yeah, I basically and, said <clears throat> that this person that was, I, I don't video game. Yeah. But this, and, and you video game. Yeah. And I was saying, like, Anaya, my girl, told me, she was like, I don't know if I could date you if you right. did, if you video game. Like, I don't know if you could do that. And, uh we were talking to one of our fr mutual friends and he said that when I video game, it's like the only way I get to hang out with right. my friends from far away. Yeah. It's like a hangout. It's like, that's getting to spend no. time together. No, absolutely. And so that resonated with you. Yeah. A lot. And yeah. so that resonated Cause I never really thought about it like that. And, and like, even with like, Kinsey, she's like, oh God, like you're playing video games, blah, blah, blah. But which by the way, I'm, I'm proud of you <clears throat> that you don't have your gaming system for this entire week. It's pretty it was crazy. rough. I almost went to Best Buy and got all <laughs> no new stuff. No way. I almost got all new stuff. You saw we got a brand new I and you're like, the, I, I miss the homies. <laughs> <laughs> you call them. <bro. laughs> so like mine and your thing is like we FaceTime regularly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, usually just doing, th just doing thumbnails usually. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our hour conversation for that week, right? <laughs> they have no uh, idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, I, we, we really thought about making a segment of like something on these videos where we video our conversations about making our, our thumbnails. Tristan does our thumbnail. My cameraman does the editing. I do the titles and yeah. the description and everything. Tristan does the thumbnails. He'll FaceTime me. I feel I, like I do the thumbnails. You definitely help, but I'm the one that works it. You just, you just, <laughs> I just need a little spitball in my direction to say, hey, maybe this, maybe that. Or yeah. like, I'll have something. I'm just, some days I'm just like mentally dead. I'm like, oh, <laughs> dude, I can't think. That's the exact term he used today. Is like, I, what do you think for this pod, bro? 
I'm mentally dead. I was like, I don't know. Maybe you you weren't giving me anything. I was like, eight. usually you spark something. I'm like, okay, 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 okay. We're running with it. <laughs> no, last time, last time I was like, I don't know. What about a big jet engine on and a I boat? And I was like, yes. And you were like, what about a boat on fire? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, boat on fire. Yeah, cool. By the way, we had the most clickbait. Yeah, nails. we definitely do. <laughs> but I do. We're just trying to make some money here. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to afford these gas, <laughs> bro. Yes, bro. <laughs> Anyways, I'm trying to buy my wife a house. Anyway, so tiny house, baby. So that's tiny. our that's our the way we <laughs> communicate that our interaction is since you don't play video games is FaceTime. making thumbnails, FaceTime. Yeah, yeah. We and we'll FaceTime for an hour at least sometimes. Um, but with the homies like I like my buddies Zay Thomas and Millie. Like yeah. those are my boys. <clears throat> But I don't think that we would be as close if, if, it, for if it was not for games. Yeah, it does give you an avenue. Yeah, and like we just, we sent, as soon as somebody comes on, we have a group message like, yo, you boys trying to get on. We also right. send TikToks and stuff in there. But so all you women out there, if you are listening to this <laughs> all podcast. All you women out there. For the homies. What the All hell? you men too. But like, it's something deeper when you're playing video games because I it's learned not that. just yeah. it's not just oh I want to go and play video games and waste my time. It's it's genuinely something to look forward to like w- hanging out with the homies. And I will say this and I don't know if gaming is like this it could be but um I have a group of guys that I do like tactical shooting with right. like every Saturday. Yeah. I they normally get pretty pissed when I don't go the banger week Saturdays cuz when I go shooting it stirs up a lot of dust, and I get sinus infections. <laughs> you so can't I, go three weeks before a banger podcast. It's up my <laughs> banger pod week. Yeah. And they get pretty pissed about that, but it's like business first, you know. But Dude, you got to figure out something for that. No, I really do. And uh, I, I've talked to a couple of different doctors now, and they have all said Zyrtec daily, yeah, just no matter what. So uh, This is way off, but I take Zyrtec daily, and this has been the best pollen season for me. And a, a no spray flow nose. Okay. Anyways, not I'll a brand deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So, um, but, but for me yeah. with these group of guys, now these are not the guys <clears throat> I'm the closest to in the world. Right. One of them is Hudson. Who, it's like, it's like you, when you go to the gym, like the gym bros. <laughs> well, what I'm saying is like every Saturday is our day yeah. to go do our tactical shooting, which is like shooting is different. Like you got to really trust each other. Yeah. You got to like really rely on each other, but also we're like going in team, like our team versus other people. And so like, we got to really be on our shit. Like if right. I'm missing shots and shit, it affects my team. Right. And, uh, what's, what's funny is like Hudson was here today and he was like tinkering with my holster and getting my other shit. Like I just got a couple little pieces. And so it's like, with me, it's not gaming. It's more shooting with yeah. with my group, and tinkering is a big thing. So yeah. it's uh you know we only get one day out of the week, right? But the rest of those days, we're tinkering with our equipment, or we're looking up different videos, or we're sending each other things. So I think a lot of people, whether they realize it or not, probably have those avenues with their friends. Right. Mine happen to, happens right now to be shooting and. It will probably change in yeah. the next maybe and that's, half a that's year. That's good. So. I think it's good to change. It used to be fishing, like yeah. me and Ricky. <clears throat> oh my God, bro! Dude, I, I could go Rick. without. Yeah, we, I need miss to, Rick. we need to go with him soon. R- Ricky and Eric. Yep, we need um, to uh, do that soon. But without without those things, you kind of like are just in your own own space. Well, you you, know? you get in this. You get in this. I wake up, I do this, I go to bed. I wake up, monotonous. I do this, go That's to bed. the word. It's and monotonous. You, and, and, and months will go by and you'll be like, dude, I haven't done anything. Correct. We have a buddy, and I don't even know if he listens to this podcast, but I love him dearly. We've yeah. been through so much together. I think you yeah. already know who we're talking about. Uh, yep. And uh, I want to get him out of that, but I don't know how. Hobbies are important. Yeah. Um, but so that's why, I like, dude, gaming with the boys just yeah. gets me on another level. Right. And, and some, and what's re- super weird is sometimes I, so I have, I, it's not a ritual, but I have certain creators that I kind of look, do we need to cut? We got five minutes or four minutes. I can wrap it up pretty quick. I'm going to be honest. I'm so right now. It's like 14 minutes. <laughs> One fourteen. We're at an hour and 15. Yeah. Where are we at? We're good. Good. Um, so what I do before I edit my videos right now, uh, which I hate editing my videos. You got to find an editor. I know. You know what I think you need to do, bro? <clears throat> Can you please go like this? 
It's pretty easy. <laughs> Tristan just continues to clear his throat into the oh, you say the mic. Okay, yeah. sorry. Um, I think you need to take whatever money you're making right now. Yeah, and find someone who can edit the videos for you because you're in a position right now where you can consistently upload. Yeah, with new content, it's literally being force fed to you. All you got to do is pick up the camera and film it. You don't need a camera guy. You can film. What you cannot do, Tristan, is yeah, you can't edit yeah. because it takes you forever and you get yeah. distracted. So it's either you get a bazillion milligrams of Adderall yeah. and turn into a zombie <laughs> or you take that money for Adderall and you get an editor. Yeah, no, I definitely need an editor. You don't need the top tier like movie yeah. type shit. You need someone who can cut, blade tool, Select tool, paste tool, I and that's a, it, bro. So I have a guy right now that I'm working with. He filmed my last video. I sent him some stuff, um, and I'm kind of going to do, I potentially might do what I did with Millie. Okay. Take him to Joseph yeah. and be like, hey, I need him to know this. Ready, set, go. It's a good idea. Um, but I, that's in the work. Uh, what, where were we at prior to that? Well, we were talking oh, about oh, oh. And before shit. I get done, before w- before I edit, I uh, I have like a little ritual that gets Kay. me going. Okay, and uh, sometimes it's um, I watch different creators that I enjoy. Right, and I take little pieces from their videos. Yeah, which sounds like a copycat, but like <clears throat> I used to watch David Dobrik, Danny Duncan, and a few other people, and just try to like. Just bring that funniness, bring that high energy. Yep, they whatever. have something you like, so you want to use it. And, and uh, this is way off topic, but David Dobrik, the way he talks, uh, I picked up on this is when he talks, he kind of like, he has a little laugh like in Like a it. giggle in there, yeah. A little giggle in the front end and the back Today's end. Today's video is sponsored <laughs> so, by Today, <laughs> And if you notice, yeah. I do that because I enjoy the way he talks. Okay. So that's where I got the way I do certain things and certain talking points. You do tend to squint in your intros. And I don't know where that came from. <laughs> that's involuntary. <laughs> that is that is the 25% Filipino in me. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> it comes out in my video. You always squint. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> I swear to God. Bro, bro, you're saying I'm squinting and that's... <laughs> it happens, bro. I know, but it's just my heritage. Bro. No, it's not. <laughs> It's, it's your eyes going like this. <laughs> no, I don't know. Sometimes, <laughs> dude, I don't know why. Sometimes I get nervous around you doing intros. <laughs> around me? Yes. When have you last Bro, filmed a video always, around you? Because you're always <laughs> listening and like critiquing. Dude, when is the last I don't know, bro. I don't know, but I feel nervous. <laughs> you are a liar. You'll call me. I'll be filming. Be like, hey, cut it off, boys. We're not. We're not filming today. <laughs> I get nervous. I don't know why? I feel like you're just a, the biggest critique. I just want my friend to be his f- best. I know you're a winner. Yeah, but <laughs> you scare me. <laughs> hey, you remember back in the day when you used to be scared of the? <laughs> you wouldn't even look at me. What's up, guys? Going hey, on today? It was, Bro, I uh, never noticed it until... Remember, I didn't buy a DSLR <laughs> for the longest time because I couldn't <laughs> look at that big-ass lens, bro. You filmed at, in a GoPro for so long. Yes. And when you got a DSLR, you were like this. <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, you, you would never make eye contact with that oh, motherfucker, bro. I find myself looking at the camera and getting lost in it i don't know what it is super scary it's pretty funny though yes it as a creator right now this is something i deal with this is my job <laughs> i get scared of a camera still what that's what we we're talking about i'm some still finding flourish. myself some people flourish some people like shell up a little bit yeah and for some reason derek six years in, i love how that six years hour in, long conversation we tied back in six years in you shell up a little bit i do shell up sometimes you want another one let's chug these I don't know if you're allowed to touch that anymore. Why is that so loud? I think, uh, I don't know. What are some, uh, if you guys are watching? <laughs> if you guys are watching. Because if they're listening, they can't really type in the comment section. Yeah, they can. They can leave a review and just say, what's up? What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Uh, what are some other, what would be some funny keys that we could use? 
I don't know, but when John comes here, Dude, I, that shit is gonna. I be think funny. I think all of our guests we should have. Well, oh, was that you? No, that was me. That was Something me. for them, yeah. right? Like one of their. I, okay, so we what seven? This is gonna be. I don't know. We film at this time. We filmed seventeen episodes. No, it's over twenty. Oh, We're live what? with seventeen. Oh what? Yeah, 17 are live. So we have 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. This is our 23rd podcast right oh now. My. Oh, this is our J- Jordan podcast. <laughs> yeah, bitch, this is number 23. Welcome to the Jordan podcast. Brought to you by your host, Jordan. Brandon and Jordan. That's cool. Yeah, this is our Jordan podcast. Uh, dang, I didn't know we had that many. 23. Dude, how weird is that? How do you... Okay, let's ask you a question. Okay. That's what we normally do on this side of the table. We ask you questions. <laughs> I don't know why I just... That reminded going. me of The Rock and Kevin Hart. Uh, you remind me a lot of Kevin Hart, how oh, you talk. Got my did you, did you, uh Did you... Hey, did you, man. <laughs> <laughs> when I wish I could think of something that I would say right now. <laughs> okay, go. What were you saying? I was trying to think of... Uh, you were making a question. <laughs> I was so oh my You're God. building that bitch. <laughs> I was framing it, it up. <laughs> hey, my tiny home's almost done. Oh uh, wait, hold on. We were when I get a when I get back from Banger Week, my tiny home should be done. Damn, and it's taking way too long, bro. Honestly, if you had the nautical off road guys that built this oh, shit, it'd be done. It'd be done in days. Yeah, <laughs> pretty wild. They show up with the trailer shit. I'm like, how long is this gonna take? It's yes, like sir. done. Do, 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 do. That's right. I can feel it coming in the yeah. copyright. Oh, oh no. It's okay, they can only take the five dollars that we earn tonight. Hey! Yeah. Okay, Tax no. right <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, no. 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 Can we please cut that out? <laughs> Government just wants 44 cent of art. Live. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you, we chugged these and we didn't have another one. I'm going to be honest. I didn't get to the bottom. Of my- oh, there was shit in that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, underwater pod now. What do you think about that? Banger one and banger two bass? Hey, they're chilling right now. Hey, you were going to say, uh, you were going to say something nice about I, me. I probably shouldn't have another drink. Really? You nah. won't be able to do the morning pack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll do the- I heard you if you drink olive oil. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did hear I'm that. I'm going to try that tonight. Really? If you drink olive oil, you don't get a hangover. How much? And I've been getting deep. Bro, as you get older, <laughs> all you young guns. Let me ask dude, you. Dude, no, no, hold on. All you young guns. <laughs> Derek, except for Derek, you. Derek, except shredded, for you. Shredded ass boy. Dude, your biceps <laughs> eat this alcohol. <laughs> dude, what's ripped? I was like, bro, put your I shirt do, back I on. I do got to say. You're making me. Like I do got to say something else about Derek that it, it is actually pretty important. Okay. Uh, his dog is oh. a chocolate. Yes. Oh, his, he's a chocolate lab. His dog is a chocolate lab, and his dog is named Guggen. That's sick. If there is anyone else that should have bought, bought that, yeah. it's him, bro. His dog is named freaking Guggen. What do you we, uh, you just pass me a red one? Yeah, that'd be sweet. Thank you. Appreciate you. So, uh... Dude, I, I don't know what it is about this uh, Cinco de Mayo vibe, but I feel like I could pop for another freaking hour. We could make a world record jigging and yappy banger pod right now. You know what? I have a little something I need to say to you. Uh-oh. <laughs> Since we've been drinking, I want to get it out. Should we start a new pod here? No. Oh, okay. I'm upset, though. I was set. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, let's cheers before we get angry at each other. Wait, are we going to get angry? Maybe. I don't know. I'm angry. I feel like I can't be upset. (laughs) I'll be like, sorry for your loss. So, um, with the Banger Podcast, we really really shot for the stars, right? So, for the podcast, we made a business, right? Separate business. Yeah, a separate business aside from jigging and yappy. So, it could be like tier with us right it's an umbrella company yeah so it's not like i own right this and then it's like i pay you it it's was like just gonna be super difficult this. if we yeah. did it any other way right so we made a company yeah yeah and the company was great and yeah. i thought everything was cool 
It is cool. And equal. It is equal. But what is your title? Oh, you want to get into that? Yeah, I just got the email. So, wait, did you? Yeah, what's the title? So, <laughs> we're 50-50 equity owners. <clears throat> We're 50-50 equity owners in this company. But what is the titles? My team set it up. Yeah. So, <laughs> and they f- me. So I'm the president of mm-hmm. the Banger Podcast. Yeah. And you're the secretary yeah. of the Banger Podcast. But that's only because you can't have two presidents. Why? I don't know. I actually should. We could call my business team and ask. You know what I'm upset about the most? The fact that no, we haven't got paid. No, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you want to know why? It's, this is something deeply rooted in me. Because you hate being a no. secretary. <laughs> well, I hate being second place. But yes, I hate being secretary. <laughs> <laughs> because when I was in fifth grade, <laughs> I ran for class president. <laughs> I ran for class president. In fifth grade? I know the girl's name that beat me, but they rigged it. Call her out. They rigged it. Call her out right now. Jesse McCorder? Jesse McCorder, you son of a bitch. She's actually a really nice girl. But Jesse McCorder, you you stole it from me. Yeah, bro, why, listen. Why would you listen, listen, hold on. No, listen. No, listen. No, no, no. no. Who the fuck is that? Who the f- is that? <laughs> Who the f- Jesse, I don't know who the f- Jesse is, but you don't deserve to be president over my listen, friend. Listen, yeah, so fifth grade, right? Listen to this shit, bro. Yeah, fifth grade, bro. Yeah, running for class president. I was like, I don't even want to do it, but my teachers made me right. <laughs> Your teachers like, you know, when you, you should you be up, cl- you should be president. You could be and president. I was like, yeah, I'll be president. So I was like, no, I don't want to. I had to make all these freaking like posters and stuff, whatever. I'm a very bad. When it comes to editing, I don't really do good with you editing. Suck. I just yeah. I just suck with everything pretty I was, much. I was just being funny. So there. I you run for suck. class president. Go ahead. And bro, we went, we had a th- like a uh, freaking what is it called where they bring everybody into the gym and orgy. It, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, we were fifth graders, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> so we were in fifth grade and we had this thing where everybody came into the gym. Like the whole school was in the gym. Okay. And they say, hey, uh, we have three people running for class president, <laughs> Tristan, Jesse, and this person. We're going to bring them up to the stage and you guys cheer for them. <laughs> And they also voted. <laughs> you guys cheer for them, and whoever's the loudest, that's who wins, right? Wait, let me guess. Let me guess what happened. People cheered so loud for you, but the vote. And I still f- lost, bro. Or for her? Because they f- rigged it. <laughs> <laughs> I've held on this for years. That's why I got anxiety this day. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. So the fact. No, that- but dude, I lost, I, and I became secretary. <laughs> you f- Bitch, <laughs> you brought me back to my childhood, and I <laughs> hate you. You're such a bitch. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> when it comes to business, I have no clue what I'm doing. Okay, and so I have a business team who tells me that they have my best interests, which I really hope they're telling the truth. Yeah, and they probably don't have mine. Well, that's why you're secretary, and I'm president of this company. But the thing is, we both own 50% of zero. Do we? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, we both lose. No. Okay. Let's no. be honest. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. Our YouTube has done great. Thanks to them. Which YouTube? Our YouTube channel. Like our personal? Banger. Yeah, but we haven't. We don't even know where that. Yeah, money I don't is, know where Tristan. the money's going, but they're supporting us. We should get our our you. You're the secretary. <laughs> <laughs> the secretary has nothing, bro. I don't even have a number to call. <laughs> I call our manager for YouTube, and she has no clue. <laughs> I, I I called her the other day. I was like, "Hey, when are we getting paid for?" <laughs> <laughs> I have. I to- said, "When are we getting paid, bro?" I have to run the country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is <laughs> take notes. <laughs> I'm the 
those bitches take notes? <laughs> You've been a secretary Bro, before. There, there's so you many secretaries be- <laughs> listening right now. Like, my job's great. What do you mean? They're like, based on my calculations. <laughs> <laughs> God. Honest to God, bro. You've been a secretary before. I've never been a president. This is new to me. Me either. What? You've never been a president. I've always lost. That's why we put you as secretary. That's f***ed up. Look, it is what it is, man. I feel like we're going so deep into this podcast, and if you're still listening, you probably laughed at this point. Maybe. We should play our podcast in reverse, because the back end of the podcast is always way better than the Dude, beginning. It really is. It's almost like we hide Easter eggs... An hour and 29 minutes into our podcast. Yeah. For sure. So you're welcome. If you've listened to this, you're welcome. And my secretary, Tristan, <laughs> is going to send you a personal <laughs> thank you note. Isn't that right, Secretary yeah. T? Yeah. Vote for Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming up for Vote re- for Brandon 2024. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming up for re-election for the banger the God. banger pod dude what if we had an election on the channel who would be our next president who would i be running against <laughs> probably you right me <laughs> <laughs> it just goes back and forth yeah dude so one of us always has to be the second each banger week we vote oh that's good yeah that's a lot of paperwork <laughs> As the president of this company. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, just this video then. If for the fifteen of you that have made it this far in this 15, video, fifteen. That's generous as secretary. Yeah. D. Okay, the five of you that have made it this far into the video, vote right now who you would make president of Banger Podcast. You know what my favorite thing about this is? The people who stop listening at thirty minutes, Dude. which was the first fourth of this podcast they were so close they're seeing the comments of secretary brandon (laughs) president (laughs) tristan in the comments and i'm like what the what is going on what do you mean secretary brandon president tristan that's my vote they're like what the secretary president what are you talking about but vote who you want who you want to be president of banger week 3.0 vote right now Thank you. I'm so glad I won. I don't think you won. I think it was a tie. So I guess we got to stay the same till Banger Week 4.0. Damn. Let's let let's let Banger Bass decide. I'm not gonna lie. Banger Bass 2.0 doesn't look like he's got much to say. Yeah, he's chilling, bro. He's big chilling, and he's super on alert. <clears throat> we need to go. We need to get him out tonight. Take him to the pond. Yeah, he's getting out. He's getting out. Well, dude, we we're all over this. All of <laughs> it. Well, let me check my notes here because there was a lot that we went on tangents about. Oh, oh, this is actually pretty good. Remember how you said the bass names? A lot of them were inappropriate. Like, yeah, Fanatic wanted to call our Banger Bass 1.0 hemorrhoid. Yeah, and you said there was a bunch of what there. were some of like the inappropriate names? It was I mean, just, dude, we're almost we're working on two hours deep. If you, it was just like round it up. There was one that was they wanted to call it pubes. Okay, pubes. Yeah, and okay. it gets just worse after that. Wait, really? Yeah, I don't know why everybody was just going in, but a lot of people just said banger bass, banger bass. Yeah, which I like. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, it gets worse. Like how worse? Pretty bad. Yeah. Can you say it, and we'll just have our beautiful editor Travis edit it out now that he's worked three hours on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what if we just mute my mic and then we'll say it? Holy shit. Yeah, dude, our viewers are crazy. <laughs> As a secretary, I can't even believe you put up with that. I shouldn't have. That is absolutely uncalled for. I'm going to say this. Derek, who I have in my notes as Guggen guy for some reason. That's messed up. Guggen $10,000 bundle guy. He suggested a name that I thought was so fitting. Okay. I don't know if it works. It's a lot of words. Okay. Water dragon. Uh, it's pretty good though, right? I didn't even think about it. It's pretty good. And there could be two of them. Water, dragon. Yeah. Water and then dragon. The water dragons. Yeah, no, they'll just be the water dragons. B and T, the one that's getting his ass beat. That's obviously T, the, the secretary. T, the secretary, dragon. 
I think we should start a beef for both of our channels. Cake? We should break up. Should we make it cake? Have it be a beef cake? No. We should break up. Break up? Like, break the boy band up. Break the boy band. Okay? Yes. Now yes, what? Bitch, go off. <laughs> yes, bitch. <go> off. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll do a boxing match. Okay. And that'll be the end of it. And then we'll get back together. As the president, I veto it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Secretary. <laughs> Sorry, Secretary. Maybe we got something year. good going. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next year. Look, man, it's been an awesome podcast. You think we wrap it up here? We had Grandma. Mm -hmm. We had a lot more cans over here than I remember. Yeah. Did you put some of these cans over here? You, you got to take one more shot. No, I took two. Did you? Yes. I don't remember that. Yeah, homie hopper. Till I die. Till I die. <laughs> That one's for you, fanatic. Gosh, press the button. Press the red button. Press it. That is going to wrap it up for President Jordan and Secretary Yappy. Come here. Yeah. Who the f is that guy? Yeah. That's Tristan, your secretary. Thank you guys so much for watching the Banger Podcast. It's been an absolute blast. I think every podcast week, every Banger week, we should grab a couple brews. And just have a late night with hella tacos. We need to do some of these tacos. So the thing is, is you always hold us back because I'm trying to do this every night. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're the secretary. Man. <laughs> Somebody has to presidentially hold this yeah, shit down. Man. No, we got a podcast in the morning. We're going to go to Party City. We're going to get goldfish. We're going to go to the hospital for Banger Bass 2.0. No, we're taking him. Home. No, I think we're going to take him out tonight. Seriously, he's not doing too hot. So uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. And uh, it was a little bit all over the place, but we had to talk about cops for the title and thumbnail. Hope you understand. And uh, that's it. Yeah. We love you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for reviewing our podcast, leaving five stars, comment what you guys want to see next and the, and the people that you want us to bring on. Yeah, and uh, John and AP, thanks for being one of the hottest sound bites of 2022. Can you press that button for me? Oh, my God! You're an idiot. Dude. That was a 10-pounder. What were you doing? That was a 10-pounder. You, you should have grabbed him. You're kidding me, dude. Are you insane? Don't blame that on me. See you later. We love you. We love you so much.